fair in your opinion, but the doctor cannot go around and point at everyone and say, hey, you sick, you must come to me and I give you medical treatment. You must go to the hospital. <laughs> Even if he say that, the patient will come or not come is up to the patient. Morda se vam res zdi nepošteno na nek način, ampak lahko razumete, da zdravnik ne more hoditi na okrog in kazati na ljudi in jih prositi, veste kaj, ti potrebuješ mojo pomoč, pridi k meni, nekogar ne more na to, v to prisiliti. Vsak lahko pride k njemu le sam. The God power will cleanse your bad karma. Moč Božje ljubezni bo očistila vašo karmo. It's not I who do anything. Ne gre za to, da bi jaz karkoli naredila. It's just as the God power make use of this body. Pač pa moč Boga uporablja to telo. And sometimes because of the karma, means the cause, the, the effect of uh, your doings, maybe the bad karma is so great that the, the God power must use a strong dose and of course it affect this body. In včasih je posledica vaših dejanj, vaša karma tako zelo močna, da je seveda potrebna močna ljubezen do Boga in to lahko vpliva tudi na vaše fizično telo. But don't worry about it, this body is just an office, it doesn't matter what happens to it, it's worth it to make other people happy. Ampak telo ne vas ne skrbi, kaj ti to, to je samo navlaka, krama. Nekaj, kar boste prejeli slej, odvrgli in vredno je, da osrečite druge ljudi. The body is just like a car, just to make use of it, to deliver people to where they should go. Tako kot bi nekomu ponudili avtomobil, da se bo lahko pelja od jaka, mor bi moral iti. So don't worry if the car gets scratched or the car become old or the car is not as beautiful as when it's new. That's the purpose of the car. In zato ne vas ne skrbi, če popraskate svoj avtomobil, če se postara vaš avtomobil. To je njegov namen. Besides, we are all one, so if I serve you, it's like I serve myself. Ampak, na vse zadnje smo vsi eno in če služim vam, je tako, kot bi služila sebi. Zakaj so vojne na svetu in kaj lahko naredimo, da bi se vojna končala? Why is there war in the world and what can we do to stop the war? The war is there because we have created some kind of warlike energy on this planet. Vojne so na svetu zato, ker smo ustvarili neke vrste vojno energijo na tem planetu. Every time we hate, every time we want to kill, every time we do not love one another like God loves us, we create a warlike energy. Vsakič, ko so vražimo, vča, vsakič, ko želimo nekoga ubiti, ustvarjamo energijo, ki ni energija Boga. And when enough of this kind of energy stick together, then it materializes into war. In ko se zbere, akumulira dovolj take energije, se ta energija utelesi skozi vojno. Hatred and envy and all this kind of negative feeling has energy, just like love has also energy. Sovraštvo, zavist in podobno ima v sebi energijo, tako kot je tudi ljubezen energija. So when somebody loves you, when you're in love with one another, you feel so blissful, happy, even though you cannot touch this love, you cannot explain it, but you know it's there and you bathe in this kind of love, you feel so good. In ko ste ljubljeni, in ko vi ljubite, se počutite tako neizmerno blagoslovljene, ste srečni in lahko čutite to energijo v sebi. Similarly, when we hate one another, we also feel very uncomfortable. We feel sometimes even sickened because of that. In zelo podobno se takrat, ko nekoga sovražimo, počutimo zelo neprijetno, včasih celo fizično zbolimo zaradi tega. Hatred, jealousy, possessiveness, ignorance, all this will make war, any time. Sovraštvo, ljubosumje, posesivnost, nevednost, vse to je tisto, kar lahko v vsakem trenutku ustvarja vojno. That's why we have to take care of what we think, what we do, what we want in our daily life. Zato moramo v našem vsakodnevnem življenju paziti na to, kaj mislimo, kaj delamo, 
in ukai variamamo people make war because they also suffer so much inside of not knowing god they feel lack of love they feel lack of comfort they feel lack of security lack of blessing they don't know where to turn to they are not even sure whether god exists they are desperate for something so they became violent and they make war in ljudje ustvarjajo vojno zato ker ne poznajo boga ker so tako zelo negotovi nimajo občutka varnosti in ker ne, ve, ne vejo da bog v resnici obstaja postanejo tako zagrenjeni da ustvarjajo vojno enlightenment is the only solution for all kind of disease in this world rasvetljenje je edina rešitev za vse vrste bolezni na tem svetu God love is the only medicine for all kind of trouble in this planet. In Božja ljubezen je edino zdravilo za vse vrste težav na tem planetu. I am hoping with this European tour to raise the consciousness of people to help you to remember your higher self your more noble being so that the atmosphere will change the energy will become more loving more noble more higher dimension in tem svojim potovanjem s turneo po evropi želim in upam da se bo zavest ljudi dvignila da boste sprejeli svojo plemenitost da boste razumeli kako plemeniti ste in se bo dvignil nivo energije v energijo ljubezni and that's my prayer for world peace in to je moja molitev za mir na svetu. I also want to come to see the refugees of uh, the war but I cannot go there. Poskušala sem odpotovati tudi na obisk k beguncem, pa mi tega niso dovolili. So we just send some uh, financial aid through the Red Cross. Tako smo pač samo poslali finančno pomoč pri kordečega križa. I also running around trying to remind everybody that they are God. Prav tako, pa se trudimo da bi vsak vsakogar spomnili na to, da je Bog. And a God should not kill another God. In Bog naj ne bi ubil drugega Boga. Well, you can help by praying, you can help the peace of the world, you can help to shorten the war by praying, by remembering your higher self, by sending loving kind thought to the victims and even to the the one who make the war lahko pa pripomorete k miru na zemlji pripomorete k temu da se bo vojna prekončala tako da spomnite svoj višji jaz in pošiljate ljubezen tako žrtvam kot tistim ki vodijo to vojno želim da mi pojasnite učinek meditacije ob nespremenjenem načinu življenja klasična prehrana kajenje ali sama meditacija vpliva na način razmišljanja, ko kasneje sam, z uvidom, opustiš škodljivi način življenja in razvade, ki nam škodujejo. I would like you to explain to me the effect of meditation with the continuing life style, classical food and if I keep smoking, how would meditation food, affect food, my life? What food? Classical food, the normal meat oh. diet. If, and if smoking how can meditation affect my uh-huh. life whether the meditation affect when he still eat meat and smoke mm-hmm. and all that mm-hmm. i know it doesn't it doesn't take much effect because you have to purify also the body in order to receive the light pomembno je da morate očistiti tudi fizično telo če želite sprejeti luč you can also still see the light if you eat meat and smoke and all that. But after a while, if you want to go into a higher dimension, then we have to take less luggage, less garbage, you know, like we have to clear the body, yeah, and uh, refrain from those poison, Seveda, which cloud lahko, the mind. Lahko.